Hi folks, Robin here. In this video I'm going to be showing you the mountains of Arran. So let's go. But first I need to get to Glen Rosa. I left the car and I draw in and it's about a 2.8 mile walk from the ferry port down into Glen Rosa. So what I'll do is I'll march on and I'll bring you back when I get in the Glen. Right, that is me reached Glen Rosa and that took exactly 45 minutes from the ferry terminal to the campsite back there so that's really good going just shy of 4 kilometers, so I really don't see any need for taking the car anyways dead ahead of me I can see my route and it's looking it's looking good actually <laughs> I filled up with some water there at the little bridge but now it's the, the hard graft I'm off the track and onto the hill path and it's absolutely roasting Alrighty, I remember this bit well The midges are savage down there. Whoa, at least I've got my water. That's me sorted. Hey, my wee lizard pal. It's three hours ago since leaving the ferry. And just over nine kilometers on the clock. Right, onwards and upwards. I've took a short detour, folks, to show you a plane crash site I must admit I've not researched this one so I'll do it when I get home and while I reflect I'll put the details up on the screen now Assuming the plane came in from the west, they were 20 metres, maybe 30 at a push, for clearing this hillside. So close, but yet so far. Always find these sites quite eerie. Just makes you think. Right, folks, I'm going to um, get back on the route and Head up over Ben Noose. Let me just get my breath back. <laughs> right, I'm on the summit of Ben Noose. Uh, that's three and a half hours since leaving the ferry this afternoon. Just over 10 kilometres on the clock, and the mist is rolling in. Ben Tarson looks a bit far away still. Got two hours to play with to zip along that ridge, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I shall bring you back. There he is, the old man of Tarson. Still got his little eye just there. Of course, from this angle, you could mistake it for something else. I 
Right to folks, from sea to summit, that took me 4 hours and 10 minutes and just shy of 12 kilometers. so that's pretty good going I think I'm just going to look for somebody to pitch now Said Nicola, one of my wee preset messages just to say I've stopped for the night. There we go. Yeah, bang on seven o'clock. That's that message sending. I'll get a signal up here, but I've paid for the subscription, so I may as well use it. And that's I got the message. Right, that's the tent up. It's good to be back on Ben Tarson. Always said I'd come back here for a summit camp and uh, it's looking good. Super boss. I'm just looking at the route for tomorrow. My plan is to do this one first. Castillo Avar, I think it's pronounced. Then I'll come down this curved ridge here and then I'll do Kervor in the middle there. Just got my dinner on and just enjoying the last of the sun. I tell you what, there's a huge bank of clouds out at sea at the moment and I think they're going to roll in during the night. So I'm just hoping I'm high enough to be above the cloud in the morning. Uh, I'm sure it'll burn off if it doesn't, but it'd be good to get a, another inversion. <laughs> Been a bit spoilt for them this year though. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Good morning campers, it is uh, just gone 6 o'clock, I literally just nipped out for a pee, still in my gym jams, but check this out. Right, there's all my stuff, ready to get packed away. Whoa. Right, leave no trace as always, let's go. I'm now going into uncharted territories. The last time I was here, we started heading back towards uh, Glen Rosa by going that way and doing the free bend route but I'm going to be continuing on I'm just a little tad apprehensive because obviously I'm on my own, the mist is swirling around and then it looks like my descent route is down there so there's going to be a bit of route finding involved what I'm going to do is just have a little look to the left of that as well 
All right, alarm bells are ringing. I didn't enjoy that. <laughs> I kind of had to use my upper body strength to lower myself down, and then I had to slide down here. And my rucksack was getting stuck in that bloody groove there. And I just had to lower myself down onto that there. Just hope I'm going the right way. Right, that's me about to join the path. So it seems I've done a little unorthodox route there. <laughs> That's the route down Fion Corre. We, however, want to keep continuing up for now. Right, I'm slowly making my way up this Corbett. I've cleared Kervor at least, get that on the way back. Get a bit peckish, so I've got one of these out. Honestly, I bought a box of these at wholesale for Costco. And they're alright, didn't get me wrong when they're edible, but they're just not my favourite, but I just can't get rid of them. I think I've used them all up and I'll find another couple hiding somewhere. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I've got about five left. I've got 200 metres of ascent to go. I just can't see me breaking out that cloud. Nah, hope so, but I just can't see it. Usually you get little hints of blue above you, but who knows, I'll keep plowing on, yes, out of the cloud, I think the cloud is hovering around about the 800 metre mark, Kervor was just poking up, that's disappeared again, and I think that's 799 metres, I can see Goat Fell, and just about where I camped, but otherwise, there's not much else poking up above the Sea of Cloud. Right, well I'm just, just off the summit. I've met two fellow campers. We've got Joanna and Hi. Paul. And they're going to fire me up a cup of tea. Happy days. I've been chatting away for ages to Joanna and Paul. I forgot to go up and actually do the summit, so I better do that just now. I'll need to double check that it is the right one. Because the clag is back. The mist has rolled in. I reckon this is the highest point. Can't see anything high up. I think this will do. Right folks, thankfully I checked the map on View Ranger. Because that wasn't the true summit. The true summit is another block of tor, a bit fuller over, and it looks a bit scary from that side. Oh, sorry, I'm out of breath. So I've had to go around the other side, and it's a far more, very straightforward scramble. Just there. Not you can see much, but I'm now on the true summit. Right, that's me off guys. Nice yeah. chatting. Good luck. Yeah, Bye. All the best, see you. Yeah. i tell you what, I could have sat all day and just chatted away with Joanna and Paul there. <laughs> but it's like back at 12 now and I'm like, oh, I've got a ferry to catch. I better push on. So anyway, I'm retracing my steps and I'm going for Kervon now. Uh, back in the clag. And I think that'll be me for the foreseeable future. Right folks, I've got plenty of water, but I've just in this natural little spring here. Yeah, the the path from both tops has been absolutely fine. Easy enough to follow in the clag. I'm not ashamed to admit, I always get just that little bit anxious when you're soloing in the clag and mountainous terrain, but uh, yeah, touch wood, all good so far, can't be far now, maybe 50 metres to the summit. Oh, made it folks, 3 hours 30 minutes since leaving the campsite this morning, 
I did pause it when I was chatting though. But yeah, here we go. Check the views out. <laughs> Admittedly, it's a bit disappointing not getting a view. I think Kervor is the jewel in Aaron's crown. But uh, you, you can't win them all. And had a superb morning. Last night was fantastic, so I'm still a happy chappy. Two new Corbett's in the bag as well. Right, well there's the, the cairn. And you've got Ben Tarson down there. And here's my escape route down Fion Corrie and into Glen Rosa. Are you guys contracted for the National Trust? Yeah, we work full time for the National Trust. Eh? Ah, nice one. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so this was uh, the path went round the back there, and there was a hole. You can sort of see what's left of it. Yep. The path had collapsed down into there, so we just kind of blocked that off. All right. Cut a new line through here and widened it out a bit. As you can see, a lot of the path is just really overgrown. Yeah. So trying to trying to keep people onto the one line. Definitely, nice one. So, uh, basically trying to slow the erosion down because when you when you end up with people on different lines it kills the vegetation over time yeah and then and if you get a little bit of bog everybody sort of walks around it yeah yeah, yeah. and, and then, it gets wider and, and wider it gets bigger and yeah. they walk around even That's wider called a braid a braid uh, right but we, we try and keep that down a bit because once the vegetation dies there's nothing to hold it in when the rain comes vegetation will wash off the, yeah. the soil will wash off you end up with a bare rock and it, it can be an ongoing problem basically so uh, so we try and persuade people to stick to one line as much as possible. Cool. Alan. So a lot of that is kind of making sure the path itself is good enough to walk on and wide enough and visible. I'll include that in the video as well. Yeah, good one. That's. <laughs> so I have to yeah, say the path right for the top there. It's been it's been brilliant. Yeah. 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 Sound. Yeah. We've we've done a walk of all the all the paths this week, so they're, they're not in they're not in bad nick. But there's a there's a team of four of us that have got all the national trusts. Yeah. Were you working Probably. yesterday? I saw the land day further down. Yeah, yeah, we've been yeah. here all week. Cool. Anyways, I've got two hours and ten minutes to go to catch my ferry. I keep stopping and talking to interesting people, and then before you know it, 15, 20 minutes has uh, crept away. So I'm going to wrap this video up for now. I'm almost at the point where I uh, stopped and filled up with water yesterday. So, if you've watched this far, thank you very much. You are a legend, as always, and uh, I shall see you in the next one. Cheers.